What is going on guys and welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team Play Review. Now as you can see in the title I am reviewing the Man of the Match in, well, in, not in form, Man of the Match John Stead after his, uh, well, amazing goal against Chelsea the other day. So we've got a Man of the Match card and well as you can see there he's got 55 pace, 62 dribbling, 69 shot, 35 defending, 68 passing, 64 physical, he's 6 foot 3, 2 star weak foot and a 3 star skill move. Now obviously he's a bronze and I haven't quite realised here that you can see his in-game stats are based off his 63. Well, I think they are anyway, but anyway, some of his in-game stats are 82 heading, 78 vision, and he's got 69 finishing. Now, obviously, John Stead, what a win it was for Bradford the other day, and he, well, he didn't come on, but he scored that great goal straight up, great, it just came out of nowhere, really, didn't it? Chelsea are cruising, and then he's just done that, and Bradford and go on to win 4-2. So, as you might have saw on my team as well, I did have Dunning goal from Cambridge, and a review on him will be coming out later on today, well, hopefully later on today, maybe tomorrow. So let's talk about John Stead then, and to be honest, I'll be honest, the, the card was absolutely fucking shite. However, one of his biggest things that I've been imp I was impressed with him, and you'll see a lot of it in uh, in these uh, clips, however he didn't score many, it was his headers. He could win a lot of headers, cross it into his head, as crap as that sounds, and he won loads of headers. You've probably seen his clip here. You know, you can get a ball into him and he'll win a header. That's all he could do, but he couldn't really hit it on target. So there you are. So that is literally probably his only pro. He... Had decent strength, which you should do. He's six foot three, but other than that, he was poor. Now, this card wasn't very good, as I've been saying. It's finishing extremely inconsistent. You could see there, although that was his weak foot, that was a poor finish. His pace is so, so slow, it is unreal. It's absolutely horrible, man. 53 pace. It just feels like he's fucking running on water, basically, treading on water every time. It's horrible. Now, it doesn't help the fact that he's not always as strong as he should be, and his dribbling's also absolutely atrocious. So he can't really get round anyone. So, yeah, you can see there, look at that shot power, man. The guy's meant to have in the 70 shot power. It's absolutely terrible, to be honest with you. The card was a mess. It felt horrible. And I really, really wouldn't recommend trying him. Again, his passing was atrocious. I couldn't really use him as target, man. I even set him on instructions to be a target, man. Again, as you can see, we'll get into his pros and cons. His first touch was appalling. Just everything about this card was terrible. So, you can see pros here heading... Um, yeah, you can't argue with that. He was a good header with the ball. You know, he won a lot of headers for me. He could flick them on. He got headers on target from shots. But, you know, for, for, it's just like he's brought a man of the match card out. And he's absolutely terrible, basically. And that is literally the honest truth of it. Scores a world, you know, and again, if you see the uh, first clip, I just fucking randomly shot on it. Man, it's like one of the times where you're a kid and you're following them crappy £1 balls from your supermarket and it just floats in the wind and goes in and strength sometimes he's sometimes strong sometimes he's just a fanny cons his finishing is so inconsistent he's very very slow his dribbling's absolutely atrocious he honestly feels like you're turning with a tank his position he was never in position to score due goals or anything like that inconsistency obviously goes into his strength Passing was terrible, his balance, he just got nudged on the floor and his first touch was atrocious and his price, he said I got him for about 250 grand, I think his price has gone down and down now. I mean, he'll probably settle at something like 40k but he's absolutely atrocious. So I really wouldn't recommend this card guys, I've given the lowest rating I've given to anyone so far. So that is it guys, I will get the done goalkeeper out afterwards if I can. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a very, very nice day.